What's the best microphone for your podcast? Well, there's actually two correct answers to that question, and I'm gonna answer them both in this very video. Intro, thing, cool, flashy, duh. Thank you, I got rid of my intro. So, if you don't know me already, my name is Michael O'Neill. I've been podcasting, I guess professionally, for seven years. I've made my living from podcasting, over 1,500 episodes, 10 million downloads, and I nerd out pretty hard about really good quality podcasts. You might notice I'm in my garage right now, and that is on purpose. I decided to come into the garage because in my house, I have a completely soundproofed studio where I do my podcasts. Now, that is not typically the case for most podcasters. Most of us are on a table in the kitchen, or we're in the garage, we're in the basement, we're in a, um, sometimes even a closet, like if you have a walk-in closet, which believe it or not is a really good place to record a show, but that's neither here nor there. I'm in the garage, I wanted to hear planes flying overhead, I wanted to hear police sirens, maybe a dog bark, a landscaper across the street, because that is really a true representation how, of how most people podcast. Now I'm surrounded by microphones I happen to have around my house for various purposes, so I thought I would just take you on a quick tour of what's what, uh, starting with the Audio-Technica AT2020. Now this is about a $100 condenser microphone. All of the rest of the mics you're gonna hear are dynamic. Then the Shure SM58, the venerable Shure SM58, also about 100 bucks, a solid steel body. So this thing is really the mic you'll find on most stages around the world. Uh, if you're ever to go check out a live band, they have tons of SM58s. Next is the Heil PR35. This is a bespoke dynamic microphone. Bespoke meaning this is, is hand-built, it's lovely, it has all of these beautiful features on the inside. And uh, Bob Heil's been making microphones for 50 plus years, so you can't go wrong. And then the world famous Shure SM7B, otherwise known as the Joe Rogan mic. This is the one I actually use on my own podcast. Um, if you want to skip to the end of the show and say, hey, I'm just going to invest a ton of money, and because this is like 400 bucks, uh, and just buy a microphone that I know I'll use and it'll last forever and it's perfect, then you can end this video now and just go buy this mic and you're good. However, you don't have to spend 400 bucks to get great sound and here's why. Now the first thing we have to talk about when it comes to microphones is dynamic or condenser. A dynamic mic like this one, this is the Shure SM58. What makes this mic great for podcasting is that if your mouth isn't right on the microphone, the sound around it gets rejected. Whereas this one, the Audio-Technica AT2020, which I actually use as my, my drum set overhead microphones, that's why I have them. Um, this is a condenser mic. And a condenser mic, you might have heard of other condenser mics like the, the Blue Yeti. Uh, in fact, there's a ton of companies that make condenser mics. The problem is they're just the wrong microphone for podcasting. And the reason why is because what we talked about before, the environmental sounds that a normal person has in their house as a podcaster are very different than what you'd get in a studio. So there's nothing inherently wrong with a condenser mic. The problem is, is that they can hear a mouse fart in the next county, whereas a dynamic mic will reject the sound around it. So you guys have, might have seen me in other videos sort of bagging on the Blue Yeti. It's not because the Yeti is a bad mic inherently, it's not. It's just the wrong mic for podcasting. It's a great mic if you have a sound controlled room. I will show you what this actually sounds like uh, in my studio and you'll see how great it is. It's a really wonderful microphone. It's just a problem when you're trying to deal with dogs and kids and environment. That's the main issue. So. Why don't we listen really quickly to how these mics sound. I'm going to take you right through condenser, uh, condenser to dynamic, and we'll start there, and then I'll go through and do a little sound sample of all these mics I have in front of me. Okay, what you're hearing right now is the Shure SM58 here in my garage. Now, when I stop talking, you don't hear much, do you? It's really quiet outside of 
my environment. Like where, when I move my face away from this microphone and I talk over here, you can see how much less you can hear. So this has got really great rejection. You hear me snapping? It's got really great rejection. So that, that's what really makes it a, a wonderful podcast mic. Again, it's about 99 bucks. By the way, if you guys want to check out any of these mics, I have all of them linked up in the description below. You can just click the link and see everything you want to see on Amazon or BSW or wherever I've linked it. So um, there was a car that just went by. What's great about this kind of microphone for a podcast is, it, let's say you're uh, on site and you're doing an interview with someone like at a conference and you're in the lobby of a hotel. Well, you can hear, I mean, there's sirens there, there's planes going on, the car just drove by, but all you hear is very background ambience versus uh, it really interrupting the flow of the show. So now I'm gonna switch over to the Audio-Technica AT2020, which is a condenser mic, and you can hear the difference in environment. Okay, so here is the Audio-Technica AT2020 microphone. Sounds great, doesn't it? I mean, it really does. It's a fantastic sounding mic, again, the real problem is how it sounds like this. Do you hear all the environmental noise? I can hear the plane really well above my head right now. I hear a small child somewhere in the neighborhood uh, screaming about something. Um, I can hear the wind. There's people walking by. And you can hear every aspect of everything that happens around you. So again, not that the microphones are inherently bad, because when I put this thing in my studio, it sounds fantastic. Oh, there's a motorcycle driving by. You hear the difference? You hear when you're, so now I'm trying to do a podcast with my Blue Yeti or my Audio-Technica AT2020, which again, inherently is a fantastic mic. It just is the wrong mic for podcasting. You got it? Here I am in my drum studio, and I wanted to give you guys an example of what this thing sounds like in a sound-controlled environment. So if you have a soundproofed room, if you're planning on doing a podcast from, like if you have a walk-in closet and it's a little quiet in there, you can totally get away with a condenser mic like the AT2020. One of the really cool advantages is you can kind of move around. It's a little more flexible with how you can speak instead of having to be right on the microphone like you do with a dynamic mic. But in general, for most outside environments, this is not the way. However, it's a lovely mic and it's a great piece of kit for only a hundred bucks. This is the Heil PR35 microphone. Now this is like a, a almost a bespoke version of the SM58. It's got this gorgeous rubberized coating on it. It feels really good in your hand. It feels really solid and hand built because it is. And this would be a microphone I would recommend if you weren't kind of a road warrior. So the SM58 for me goes into my travel kit along with my Zoom H6 recorder. So I use the recorder and two SM58s and that's sort of my portable podcasting setup. Now, if I were just gonna stay in a studio, I love the Heil PR35 for that. Um, one of the challenges I had when I traveled, because I did have a pair of these I traveled with for a couple of years, but the rubberized coating really got kind of munged up a little bit because um, while it feels great in your hands, it's not quite as durable as just a straight steel uh, shell, you know? But I love how it sounds. It's got a real warmth to it for a microphone. Um, it almost sounds like you're a, a radio star, you know? <laughs> like it sounds like you're right, a, hey, hi, it's WXRK FM, ladies and gentlemen. So I really do like the Heil PR35. Um, I also have a Heil PR40, which is, um, I, right now I'm using it in my, uh, my bass drum microphone. Uh, in fact, I should grab it. Let me go grab that sucker and then I'll bring that into this test. This is the Heil PR40. And I don't know why I didn't include this in the initial intro, but I spent five years of my podcast career on this very microphone, maybe more, maybe six. This is a, uh, this is a you can't go wrong microphone. Uh, it's affordable. It's killer. It's a, a dynamic mic, obviously. And plus it looks the part, doesn't it? It really looks like you're a radio person. You get that, you get that nice windscreen on here and you look like a, a real pro. But one thing I like about the Heil PR40 is that it does introduce some, it gives you like a nice smooth bass tone of your voice. And by the way, I've, I've, I haven't touched or EQ'd any of these microphones. This is just how they are out of the gates, but same drill. Dynamic mic in the garage, sounds fantastic. And, you know, when you when you 
talk about legendary microphones, like all the stuff from the HAL PR35 started here in the PR40. So the PR40 is really the, the jam. And, and of all these mics that I'm demonstrating today, the Shure SM7B and the Heil PR40 are probably the two most popular uh, podcast microphones for people that are really taking it seriously. Because that, that's really what, they, these are serious mics. These are mics that cost, let's say, over $300. Um, I think the the Heil uh, PR40 is, I want to say it's $329, and this is uh, $399 for the Shure SM7B. So these are like, like I'm, I'm podcasting, I'm into it, I'm building a cool studio, I want a, a great environment, I want to take sound out of the mix. Meaning, if your show's going to fail, it ain't going to be because of the sound. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to be because of something else, because the sound is really taken care of. And so, also bulletproof, also handmade, Bob Heil knows his stuff. And uh, I love this mic, so you can't really go wrong, again, with a, a PR40. Lastly, but certainly not leastly, is the Shure SM7B. Now, this is known as the Joe Rogan microphone. And I gotta be, I gotta be honest, um, I'm maybe not being very fair to this. This is a very powerful mic and technically does need a little bit of juice behind it. So I have a microphone preamp uh, in my main studio when I'm not in the garage. And there's also a device called the Cloud Lifter, which just gives this thing a little more juice so you don't have to max out your gear trying to get it to an optimum level. However, this Zoom H6 does a great job. I've got it set at uh, yeah, just about seven on here. And I'm peaking at about minus six, which is where I like to peak on my Zoom uh, H6 recorder. And I think it sounds great. Uh, this is a flatter uh, sound response than the Heil PR40. So it doesn't have quite as much uh, bass on the bottom end. So if you're a, you've got a deep male voice and you don't want uh, that bass boost, then this might be a really great choice for you. Uh, again, this is a very flat frequency response, which is obviously on purpose. They're trying not to, to um, edit your voice too much. Um, not much to say about this other than like you, you literally can't go wrong. You, you buy a, a one of these and you're going to have world-class sound for your podcast. But I will say this to me feels like a, um, a second microphone, meaning you've podcasted for a while. You feel like, yeah, this is something I want to do and I want to really make it world-class. That's when I think I would start considering the SM7B and maybe I, I don't know. I think the PR40, you can sort of uh, start a podcast with it, whereas this feels like you have to have one already and you have to be into it because this is a, a, this is a premium piece of gear. This is something that you'll keep forever and doesn't have a tremendous amount of portability. So that's going to lead me back to what I would consider the best. Like if you're going to start a podcast right now and you want a microphone that's perfect for starting a podcast then this is really the microphone that you want. This is the Shure SM58, bulletproof. Uh, in fact, I gotta turn it down a little bit. It's bulletproof. I mean, really bulletproof. These things, you can find them on Craigslist for 50 bucks all day long. You can buy them through my link um, to Amazon, which I would appreciate. If you watch this video and you liked it, then obviously if you click through and you buy this microphone, I get a little bit of wind in the sales. but. It's got the same DNA, you know, effectively. It's got the same overall DNA as the SM7B. It's only $99. It's a dynamic mic. It won't fail you. I mean, the number of shows that I've launched that use this microphone for the first year or two is, I don't want to say innumerable because it's actually innumerable, but a, a lot. Just Let's just say a lot. This is a microphone that I trust. It's something that I recommend to everybody. It's something that I own multiple of. I think I have three SM58s and one SM57, uh, one PG52, one SM7B. So Shure has a lot of my money. And I just think this is the way to go. The SM58 is a great mic. You throw a little dust cover on here, bloop, and you know a little windscreen if you are worried about, uh, and you should be, by the way, you should put a screen on here. Um, and it's gonna sound great. You're gonna have dynamic sound. Um, honorable mention, which I don't own, but I think is a fantastic microphone, certainly for the money and for the versatility, is the Audio Technica ATR2100. Now, that's a mic that plugs in with XLR, which is like the professional way to connect a microphone. 
but it also has a USB port. What's cool about that is if you're interviewed on somebody else's show, you can just plug the mic directly into your computer and you know open Zoom or Skype or whatever and then use it, which is fantastic. The other thing you can do though, if you happen to have a setup like I recommend, which is um, if you watch my other video on how to set up a mixer for a podcast, or is the Zoom H6 the podcasting holy grail, which I think it is, um, if you set up like that, you can actually use the Zoom H6 as your USB interface. So you can plug in with a regular XLR cord into the Zoom and then from the Zoom right into your computer using a standard USB cable and use it uh, just like you would any other microphone on, um, uh, on Zoom or on Skype. I'll just leave this on because it's great audio quality. Um, I hope th you found this useful and it's something you could use to decide what kind of microphone to use for your podcast. Uh, I know it's very confusing out there. So if you ever need help with your podcast launch, it is something I offer. I have multiple versions of podcast launch services. So if you want to launch a world-class show, you can reach out to me. If you want to just launch something that's a hobbyist podcast, I have programs for you. And don't forget, in my opinion, being a great podcast host is the number one thing you can do to grow your show. And uh, to be a better podcast house, check out artoftheinterview.co. Artoftheinterview.co co, uh, will teach you how to be a great podcast host. Till then, I'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.